Chapter 5 When I got home, I decided to tell my dad what had happened. We've always been pretty close, but we've become even closer since my folks split up. My dad got his own apartment. I can tell my dad anything at all, and he always understands. I don't understand, said my dad. You say you think you can read people's minds? No, Dad. I said, I don't think I can. I know I can. I'm sorry, Zach, he said. But that doesn't seem possible. Oh, it's possible, all right, I said. Okay, then. What am I thinking right now? Right this very minute. Here's what you're thinking, I said. Maybe the divorce is finally getting to me. Maybe you ought to send me to that child's psychologist. His mouth dropped open. How did you know that? It's what I was thinking, he whispered. Dad, I already told you. I said, I read minds. It happened in science class. I got an electric shock. Okay, what am I thinking now? You're hoping the psychologist is free next Monday, I said. Dad, trust me, this has nothing to do with the divorce. He sighed and shook his head. This is amazing, he said. Truly amazing. Okay, what number am I thinking? Uh, 87, I said. Dad, I need your advice about something. I heard in school, somebody is plotting a murder. He looked at me very serious and narrowed his eyes. What animal am I thinking of, he asked. A duck-billed platypus, I said. Impatiently, Dad, didn't you hear what I said? Somebody at school is plotting a murder. I'm sorry, Zach, he said. It's just pretty incredible to find out that your son is a mind reader. But you nailed everything I was thinking, including the 87 and the duck-billed platypus. Now, what's all this about somebody plotting a murder? I picked up somebody's thoughts. They said they were going to kill someone tomorrow. I can't believe it could be one of the kids in my class. Maybe it's the janitor. He's very weird. Anytime we hang around his office in the basement, he yells at us. Once he said, if we don't stop bothering him, he'd kill us. Oh, that's just an expression, said my dad. People say all kinds of things all the time. Doesn't mean they're killers. Dad had a point. But if it was Mr. Hogmeister who was... Who was it? Miss Coleman Levin? Dad, you've met Miss Coleman Levin. Did she strike you as a murdering type? Of course not. You're really being silly. Zach, Dad said with a wave of his hand. Then he focused his eyes on me. Okay, now, what famous singer am I thinking of? If you can do this every time, I could get you on the Tonight Show. I turned Dad out. I was... Cl Clear he wasn't taking this serious. But then he didn't hadn't heard that scary voice saying, Kill, kill. Somebody's life was in danger, and I was going to have to solve the mystery on my own. So far I had two main su suspects, Mr. Hogmeister and Miss Coleman Levin. And in this case, you're wondering which famous singer Dad was thinking of. It was Barry Manilow. Gross.